some NCAA rapid fire football. We've got about five minutes and I need to know what you're mm -hmm. thinking. You're decked out in Mets gear over here. Jeez. Oh yeah. <laughs> Something can't even tell. Um, let's go right into your college football though. We've only got about five minutes, Lenny said, but Hey everyone, make sure you also take advantage of our Caesar Sportsbook promo happening right now. They're our sponsor and they're letting you wager up to $1,250 on your first risk-free bet. If you don't win, don't worry. You'll get 100% of your stake back as a free bet and win or lose, you'll get 1000 reward credits and 1000 tier credits. All you have to do is use my promo code MIRSFUL. Before that, uh, tell everybody about this week pass they can do by heading over to picksandparlays.net slash ESB. Yeah, that, that link will bring you over to the Picks and Parlays uh, website, and then you can get a week pass for $99. I think usually it's like $179. All right. It's an Earl's Brother special to get all of their VIP picks. So, Nick, starting off rapid fire, what do we have? TCU and SMU. TCU favorite at minus two. The total at 70 and a half. My Lord, what do you like in this one? Yeah, and this I'm looking at the total in this game. I do lean towards TCU money line, something along those lines. I think that they win this game. But when we look at SMU, this they, these totals are not new for them. 67 in week one against North Texas, 66 in week two against Lamar, and uh, 74 last week against Maryland, their totals. The thing is, is they haven't even sniffed it over yet. This is a team that their totals keep getting bet up and up and up. And their total, their last week's game, I believe, was their highest scoring game at 61 points. So they haven't even come close to it there. On the other side, TCU, uh, the only time they've the only time they've gone over that this total uh, was a 59 to 17 win, but that was against the Texans of Tarleton State. If you don't know who they are, they're an FCS school. That is why. Uh, maybe you know them for college basketball, one of the lower conference teams, not for football, though. Uh, the other game they played went under the total of 59 and a half with them in Colorado. Uh, I'm going to say step, uh, the under 70 and a half is where I'm going in this game. And uh, probably wait a little bit in the week. You'll probably get 72, 73 come kickoff. All right. And you'd still like the under on that, apparently. Oh, absolutely, so, yeah. <laughs> next game we've got here, Notre Dame at North Carolina. The total set at 56. Notre Dame favored at minus one. A Notre Dame team that has been struggling. So tell me what you like in this. Yeah, this was one of the first games that jumped off the page to me here for my discrepancy between my power rankings and the actual line itself. Give me Notre Dame all day long here. I have this game more like a seven, seven and a half uh, <laughs> rather than a pick them. Absolutely. Uh, I know Notre Dame has not looked good this, so far this year. They start off with Ohio State. Obviously, the shocking upset against Marshall. And then last week, they finally got their first win against Cal. But here's the thing. I think this is probably one of the worst defenses they're going to be going up against here in North Carolina, which gave up 24 points to FAMU to start the year. They gave up 61 to App State. So this is a team that Notre Dame is going to be able to score points against. And I also do lean towards the over 56 in this game. I think Notre Dame has the better defense in this one. So I think that them just asking them to win the game straight up, I think they beat North Carolina in this spot, so I like the money line here for Notre Dame. All right, hopefully the uh, Fighting Irish can figure it out. And I wouldn't yes. take some things into consideration in their past game statistically. We can get into that another day. But he likes them on the money line. Middle Tennessee at Miami. Miami <laughs> sitting at minus 26 and a half is the favorite. The total at 52 and a half. Please tell me you're not taking Middle Tennessee on the money line in this. Uh, I'm not taking the money line at this moment, uh, but I am, I am taking the points in this game, 20 plus okay. 26 and a half. One thing I've noticed a little bit this year is teams out of conference teams when they play SEC schools, which Miami played A&M last week, uh, they generally struggle to cover the next week. And we noticed that with App State, uh, we've noticed with a couple other teams that usually when you play the SEC, your, your next game is, uh, you're, you come out a little flat or I don't know what it is, but. Middle Tennessee is a team I've been on a little bit here. I didn't have them last week. Obviously, they played Tennessee State, another FC, uh, FCS school. But the pre week prior, I had them plus 13 and a half, and I had them on the money line at like $3. And they and they won straight up against Colorado State. I like this Blue Raiders team. Uh, I think that they're going to be able to cover the spread here against Miami, who's missing a couple of their offensive pieces. So I think that points may be a little bit of a premium in this game. Uh, lean probably under in this game. But I like the points here at Middle Tennessee. 
That's also a lot of points. So if you're missing it a is. couple key pieces on offense, I mean, it's to get things not – most likely your offense will be clicking, especially early. So, yeah, I think it, then they could be a little worried playing more conservative if, they're, if it's too close. So, all right, plus 26 and a half. Let's ride with Middle Tennessee on that one. What's our next game? We've got Wisconsin at Ohio State. Now, I talked with Craig about this one earlier, but I think you have a little bit of a different perspective. We talked about Ohio State really needing to make sure that this is their statement game this season to show everybody that we're legit contenders. Don't count us out. Ohio State obviously favored minus 18 and a half because of what their offense has looked like. The total at 57. But I'm curious, Nick, tell me your perspective on this game. Yeah, generally I like to make my own lines with my power rankings, and I reference that with the pre- of a couple of previous games. And this is one I had at 12 and a half. So getting above that 14 and even 17 number, I'm all over Wisconsin in this spot. And Wisconsin money line at a small sprinkle is something I'm going to have on my card this weekend. All of probably a fifth of a unit, nothing crazy. I also do lean towards the under in this game. Yeah, just a small sprinkle. I'm not <laughs> saying Wisconsin's going to win this game outright, but I do think they have a good enough offense uh, to be able to potentially run the ball a little bit of against Ohio State, try to shorten the game, limit the possessions, and I think that's going to make it more difficult for Ohio State to cover 18 and a half. Uh, so I'm going to take Wisconsin here, and I think that I wouldn't be surprised if Wisconsin wins this game outright. Especially because, like Craig was saying, we talked about it, the Ohio State defense is what needs to be proven in this one. And to play a school like Wisconsin, who you know is going to come out, play hard, they play tough, they know how to play you, they've seen the schools that you've played against, vice versa, a lot of similarities in that way. So I like the I like the points in that one as well. All right, what do we got next? Navy at ECU. Oh, Lord, tell me where you're going with this one. Nick, an ECU fan. Uh, favorite at minus 17 at the total at 49 and a half. But what really stands out to you in this game? Yeah, I I've, I, I will be in attendance in this game. And I needed to put some type of East Carolina. I couldn't do this last week for the power because they played Campbell. But now that they are actually playing a real team, I can actually put them in here. I'm on the under in this game, and I've bet this every single game so far for ECU. I believe they're going to be a heavy under team this year. I As like their every time. Uh, it is I, my bad. I bet it the first two weeks. I didn't bet it against Campbell because that game came out late, and it barely creeped over last week or last game against o- Old Dominion. But East Carolina only gave up 21 points. They did cover the 13 point spread. Um, and their defense held them to only 21 points. They held NC State to 21 points, including shutting them out in the second half. Uh, I I like the under in this game. I like the running game that East Carolina has with Mitchell and with Harris. And this defense, I think, is elite. Uh, maybe one of the top in the AAC and probably, I want to say, top 30 in the nation potentially for defense. So I like this uh, game going under. I don't see Navy putting up more than 13 points in this game. All right. Well, I hope while you're sitting at that game, you're happy as well with that under. So under 49 and a half, if you like what he's got going on, like, subscribe, ring the bell for notifications so you don't miss a single minute of our power hour taking place Monday through Friday, 3 p.m. Eastern.